what do I do if my thumb is numb? What do I do if my thumb is numb? Now that's a focal neurological deficit and we should evaluate it. And generally it's one of two things. It's carpal tunnel syndrome, which is a pinched nerve in the wrist, or it's a disc herniation at C5-6. The first thing that I want to know is, is just the thumb numb? Carpal tunnel is only numbness distal to the wrist. Sometimes when people feel it at night go all the way up the arm. It's generally distal to the wrist, whereas a C6 nerve root goes all the way up the arm, so they have numbness all the way down the arm. So what is carpal tunnel syndrome? We've talked about this later. This is a pinched nerve of the wrist. You have these carpal bones that form a carpal tunnel. Carpal bones, carpal tunnel, a nerve right here. This is what mine looks like. It's a pinching of that nerve. Carpal tunnel syndrome. So what does C5-6 mean? Well, you have seven vertebral bodies. Between the fifth and the sixth is a C6 nerve root. It's named from the vertebral body below, and that supplies the thumb. This first film is a normal MRI of the cervical spine. You see the blue arrow? That's the spinal cord. You see the fluid around it. This is a fairly normal MRI of the cervical spine. This next one is a large disc herniation. Look just lateral to the white arrow, C5-6. The next one is a acute disc herniation, C5-6. You see the white and the blue arrow. The little blue arrow is pointed at that little white disc. You see how much lighter it is. It's very hard to age disc herniation, but generally when there's fluid in them, it's fairly acute. And this next one is a sagittal view. I like to call this the Mickey Mouse sign. Look at Mickey's face and his ears. And on the left, where the blue area is, you'll see this soft tissue acute disc herniation. And then the last one is two big disc herniations, C4-5 and C5-6, just massive pressing on the spinal cord. So what do I do if my thumb is numb? That's a focal neurological deficit. You should see your doctor and be checked for carpal tunnel syndrome or a C5-6 disc herniation. A third cause of this is pretty uncommon is a brachial plexopathy, the nerves in the plexus, and we'll talk about this later. I've rarely seen that with just a numb thumb, but that's the third thing in the differential diagnosis. Well, this is Dr. Caldwell Miller, the brain doctor, and we'll keep talking about things in the private practice of neurology. So like, comment, subscribe, send me some questions uh, more later.